Franco Classic here. Uh, I'm out here in California and I'm at ECP Power Coating, uh, hanging out with a certain YouTuber. We're out here picking up some parts for a certain Galaxy and uh, we're just gonna basically run around and uh, possibly go to a machine shop and just sort of experience the industrial side, I guess, the classic car world part of uh, Southern California. Uh, stick around and let's see what kind of trouble we can get in. Driving to the machine shop, pick up his engine. Uh, 
Oh, scratch the paint. Um, it's very hot and dry in California right now, so I can kind of put these outside and they won't just rust and grow overnight, which is nice. So. Some more money. <laughs> these suckers, these are, this is real money. This yeah, no joke. GT40P heads. Alright, here comes the real waste of money. <laughs> I know everyone's gonna tell me in the comments that I shouldn't have got the P heads, right? Yeah, now they're yeah. gonna be like, well, you should have made that much money, you could have got a little aluminium. <laughs> you said it like the British. It's got new valve, well, new valves seated to it. Yep, new is resurfaced old ones, so you got springs. Man, set up for 500 plus lift. Yeah, I know, it'll, it'll take a lot. It's a brand new deck. 60cc GT40P, brand new exhaust valves, brand new double valve springs. Done right at a local machine Come, shop. It's basically, you know, you send it to, you get the full service. Mm -hmm. you know, this is everything. That's full cool. salon service for this. <laughs> sure. Alright, well, speed truck's empty, and uh, Craig and I are tonight. That's so weird. I'm, still I'm Craig, not you. Nah, I'm real Craig. <laughs> channel for that video. Um, oh. This is the key to dropping an F100 a lot of inches. <laughs> Packaging, that's the first step. Riveting. Yeah. Go for it. So this box right here, and this box especially, the big key key components on how to make an F100 sit about five inches off the ground. After you're done with all the extensive fabrication work, that would be this incredible coilover shock Ooh. from all that I'm wearing. So, yeah. This guy up. Isn't that a beaut? Ooh, that, man. that is a made in the USA, manufactured up here in LA. I think I believe it's in LA. Fully adjustable. This Supporting local company. Man. Yep. Not only this way up here, but you can adjust the valving up here. This is a legit coilover. So we ran. I'll actually just show you. So this one right here. Was the one that we were running, that we were going to run. Touched it, and this is pretty much the lowering one. This should lower it anywhere from two to three inches or three to four inches. We haven't really figured that out yet, but I have adjustability all the way up here, you know, so I can change the ride height, change the spring stiffness, all that kind of stuff. Um, so there's a lot of adjustability with this thing, so I can find the perfect ride height and how I want it to ride. You know, if it's under steering or over steering or anything like that, we can change all that stuff with this. So. That's it's cool. Like really cool. And then just bolts that, right in. Let me look at that bracket now. Uh, that's coming out soon, maybe after yeah. you tested it. Yep, yep. It's uh, I'm kind of being the test only with this one, so they made this cool, really, really cool bracket um, to where it literally just goes right up into the bottom of the crown yeah. deck cradle. And these are the three bolts that everyone's seen on the top of the strut, and then it just connects right to the top of the coilover. And then the bottom of this will have two spacers that we're going to be machining that'll go on each side. Um, so it'll literally just bolt right in. There's no cutting, welding, or anything. So. And then you're ready for racing. Yeah, ready cool, to go man. to the track. Set those next to each other again. So you said, so tell us again now, that one, this one is, would you say an inch shorter? Yeah, so this is at stock height and you can see the threaded body and the adjustable parts exactly the same, um, but it's about an inch shorter or maybe a little bit more than that. This one might be two right, inches. Yeah, it looks like two inches. Um, yeah, I think this one was a two inch drop. So this will pretty much, um, I, I, it'll initially drop it about two inches. And I believe if I'm correct, I can, you know, change it anywhere from one inch to three to four inches, you know, based on how I set the spring up with the adjuster here. Um, but this is the same exact body. So the stiffness mm -hmm. and everything's the same, but you can see it's physically a, a shorter shot. That's so, cool. um, I like, I want my truck very low, the lower the center of gravity I can get without scraping and, you know, metaphorically the mm -hmm. better the handle. Uh, so these will, this will hopefully fix that for sure. And then it literally bolts onto this bracket, which just bolts bolts it right in you know, that's so cool it's, man. it's very simple that's awesome i'm, I'm really glad that they're putting together or at least you are especially with those uh, a lot of aftermarket 
yeah. and things for these F100s. That's cool. Yeah, I did. I already have done all the dirty work and figured out what <laughs> works and what doesn't. And especially, I mean, there's a lot of people that are better at fabricating than I am that have obviously, you know, they build their own stuff all the time. It's surprising how people aren't really producing them. No, that's like the it's thing. coming, but yeah, there's a couple of good companies. Outcast Auto Works, Backyard Customs. Those are two really big ones that I've seen um, that make, you know, if you're beginner fabricator you can cut the size that yep. tells you drop it in and pretty much weld it and it does everything for you um and then i think outcast made almost like a bolt-on i think rear suspension and mostly crown big front end yep. i believe is what it is uh, i kind of looked at it a little bit but it had like a bolt-on four link which is yeah. really cool yeah I, I remember i was at um pigeon forge and he was there and i did yeah. a video with him he really i mean you could tell that not only did he just design it to sell like he designed it so that he could run his truck on it yeah and he started making it for other people no, so yeah, it's that's the thing i unfortunately made in being, usa you know yeah and no, that's the cool part unfortunately me being in full-time college student and yeah, <laughs> not having a lot of space and time and great machinist stuff so i can't manufacture these but um i'm at least doing my part in showing everyone how i'm doing it exactly. so they can do it on their own and i'm sending them part numbers and everything so if literally what i'm doing with these shocks everyone will know how to do it and they yeah. can go and do it the exact same way that i did it so yep. it'll be really really cool. bringing the next generation that wants to race yeah, forward my truck starts. has the backyard customs front front end kit on it does so, it yeah i really like it so so far it's, it's been really good you know it was a learning curve for me i'd never done anything right like that before so That's it's crazy. really good stuff That's so. awesome, man. Next, we're going to go check out, um, well, the Galaxy and the frame that goes, uh, will go underneath his uh, F100. What kind of racing are you wanting to do with that? So the whole thing is, it's an autocross chassis. That's yeah. That's really what it's for. So the whole plan is to be able to take this truck down to SCCA. Good Guys does a big autocross course. Yeah. Uh, we can take it down there and go ahead and, you know, shoot some, shoot some cones, try to hang out with some Corvettes and, you know, do all that kind of <laughs> and stuff. Beat them, right? yeah, yeah, try to beat them at least. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to drive the truck there, beat the crap out That's of it. That's cool. And then drive it back. Yes, that is awesome. Uh, I also want to go to like an actual like Mazda raceway or like actual tracks, like road courses. That's, this is a road course. Definitely. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me today in this uh, vlog style video today. I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked all the content. There's a lot more to come. If you guys want to do me solid, head over to his YouTube channel. I'll have the link down in the, in the description. <sighs> hit that thumbs up. Uh, definitely hit the bell icon. Watch his videos. Um, not only because I asked you, but because he makes really good videos. I'm learning a lot here. Uh, he's got really good forward con con content. He's got really good... Um, Ford tech help I you know you guys saw the shock type stuff uh, struts uh, he's got the frame that you guys saw um, he's got a lot of cool stuff happening uh, support support him as best you can by doing checking out his Instagram uh, he's got a lot of cool stuff going on, on Instagram and you know what take one of his videos uh, copy and share his, his links and go to 4400 world and post it um, make it your favorite uh, select whichever one you want um, he's got some really cool stuff coming too. I got a little sneak peek, which you guys can't see. Uh, that's coming soon. Definitely growing. This Ford F1 uh, world is definitely growing, and this truck is awesome. And maybe, maybe he might let me drive it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I definitely uh, would uh, take that opportunity if it was uh, <laughs> sent my way. I'll let you guys get a little bit of a view of the truck here, um, and then uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.